All right. Well, it says we're live. So welcome back, everybody. It is April the 14th, 2024. I think I said March last week. <laughs> Everything's running together. And it's at 7 p.m. Eastern here in Florida. So if you're watching this back later, by all means, leave a comment. We do allow our live streams to record and playback. And I want to apologize to y'all. The sun is just now setting through the curtains and it's all in the camera. So the light's going to be really wonky here for just a minute, but it's setting fast and we'll try to get it all adjusted. So let's play the typical can you see and can you hear us game. And uh, again, welcome everybody. Thank you for spending your Sunday afternoon with us. But this is your did first. Did you say April 18th? No, I said March. Uh, yeah, I did say April. It's 14th. No, I, did say, I said April 14th. I'm pretty oh, okay. sure. I might have messed it up. And then I said, I think last week I said April. Uh -huh. No. So yeah, March 14th. Y'all see by the date. So welcome, everybody. If y'all, if you're new tonight, what we typically do is just talk about last week's content, what's coming up, mainly answer a bunch of questions that y'all have. Um, I usually Good get time with y'all. I usually get picked on a lot. So we'll do some of that in here as well. And of course, we let Tiffany cook every night. So uh, again, I apologize for the poor lighting, but uh, it's just the way it is. We just like to hang out on our back porch right here. All right. So y'all start asking away. Otherwise, I'll start yakking away about whatever I feel like tonight. Well, you might as well talk about the weather first. That's what you usually talk about. <laughs> Boy, the weather has actually been gorgeous. I think this is our last little bit of a, I won't say it's cool, but it's relatively cool today. Yeah, Low humidity. Today. And then this week's forecast. Oh, my goodness, y'all. I'm seeing mid 80s. And by the end of the week, I see 89, which means we'll probably go ahead and bump it into 90. Uh, spring actually feels like we're flying through spring, going to officially to summer here. I'm not so sure I'm looking forward to this at all, but it's been gorgeous today. It's like in the 70s, low humidity. Looks I like thought maybe you were going to talk about the rain oh, that we had. Well, that too. I'm trying to talk <laughs> about this beautiful day we had. Looks like we're heading toward the 60s yeah. pretty quick. I think I see 72 over there, so it is perfect. But y'all, the storms we had this past week, I know... I know y'all dealt with a lot of that as well. Hopefully y'all made it through nice and safe, but we got some major flood in here. All the rivers are, are flash flooded out of the banks. A lot of people's homes are flooded. Yep. We got so much rain the other night. Uh, we got five inches here in a short period of time, but our friends that's literally just a few miles through the woods that way had a wicked band come through and they all got like 12 inches of rain in a short period of time. It flooded Tallahassee, our capital. A lot of streets were shut down. Homes were flooded. And these rivers are just flying up. Some of them starting to crest today, but it's just as far as you can see out in the woods and everything else. Thank goodness we didn't get none of the hail they were calling for or the tornadoes. So, uh, so glad we missed those parts of the storm. So we're hoping y'all made it through okay. But uh, like I keep telling everybody, I don't think we're going to make it out in our woods at any point this year. I haven't even drove out to the woods and looked yet, but we're so flooded, so unbelievably flooded. All right, did everybody say they could see in here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been yakking Everybody's forever, here. and they may be like, no, nope, no, nope, can't hear you. Everybody's here. All right, so somebody asked, did we get uh, any hailstorm damage? No, we did not. Thank, Thank goodness. goodness. Uh, we kept getting woke up around, what did it start, about 3 to yeah, 4 a.m.? Yeah, it came in pretty early, so. Yeah, we were in we bed. We tried to sleep through most of it. Yeah, we tried to. I was at the point, I'm, I'm tired of running from tornado warnings. Oh, my goodness, but the popping lightning was crazy. It keep starting me out of bed. My heart's racing 100 miles an hour. About the time you'd fall asleep. Boom! It sounded like lightning popped by the house again. So we dealt with that. And then the rain was intense, but luckily no hail damage. So mm -hmm. I went ahead and put up all of the solar panels just to be safe, folded some up vertical, put some inside, uh, but wasn't no need to do it. But you know how it works. If I hadn't uh, put them up, left them out, we'd have had a pile of damage. So I guess that's one big negative to solar right there. But luckily that doesn't happen too terribly often. All right, let's go up and grab a... I thought you said you put up a bad house. I ain't seen no video. Because <laughs> what I also said is I'm not going to post the video until we actually get some bats in the house. I did look in one of them the other day. Yeah. It yet. would be a miracle if we already had them in there this quick. They say it actually takes some period of time. So, yeah, we're going to keep checking that. We're going to get you a video out. So, Mikey, thank you so very much. He says, fertilizer for special tomatoes and herbs. So, Mikey, let's go ahead and get some thanks out this week. It's been a crazy week, and I apologize. I forgot to go out and grab the uh, the machetes, but Mikey hooked us up like crazy this week. Yeah, they were some nice machetes. Yep, so we got some machetes. Mm -hmm. uh, Fiskers, of course, we know. He's making me the Fiskers <laughs> spokesperson here. Stuff shows up for Mikey every week, and then some surprise uh, burpee tomatoes and herbs and all that stuff so the uh, nice. yeah the burpees very, plant people very thoughtful and yeah, what do we get cilantro basil a couple different types of tomatoes 
So yeah, thank Mikey. Thank you thank so much. You. And then thank you so much for the, uh, the donation there. We truly do appreciate you. My goodness. You're always thinking about us and sending so much stuff. in. I might as well keep rolling on. Mr. Jimmy sent me a power supply for that, uh, CB that he sent me. Jimmy, thank you. You did not have to do that, but we're going to build us a CB base station here for some communication to locals. Like when we have hurricanes and emergencies and all, um, what else this past week? Y'all. Okay. I don't know. What's oh going- yeah. Though. Yeah. I don't know what's going on here. I want somebody to speak up. Oh, they, maybe they don't want to speak up, but I've been hesitant on unpacking everything. So I had a surprise gift show up to the post office this past week. Some fold out saw horses that I love, and you can never have too many of those. What I found odd was no note in the box, and my name wasn't on the box. It was just to our PO box. So I've been nervous unpacking it, wondering was this a mistake? What's going on? Did maybe did Amazon mess up because I've ordered <laughs> these in the past? So if somebody's willing to speak up and somebody sent that out. Thank you so much. What an unbelievably generous gift. But I keep waiting for like a, a notice from Amazon that says, by the way, we messed up. Please return the item or this, that, no. other. Because I'm like, what's going on? No name, no note, no nothing. So somebody hooked me up with another set of those That's saw awesome. horses that I bought a while back. And I love. Thank you so very much for that. There was something else this week, wasn't there? I'm trying to remember. I know there was something else this week. Y'all, y'all so kind of generous. I can't keep up with everything this week. <laughs> there had to been something else. Tomatoes, machetes, surprise saw horses. There was something else. Was there? I know there was. Uh-oh. Well, if we forget, then we will definitely add it next time. I got too much on my mind right now. It'll <laughs> pop up to me probably mid-live stream. Yeah. All right. So thank y'all. My goodness, y'all are so kind and generous to Chris us. Chris says that gift was supposed to go to his house. Oh, how about that? Well, uh, I don't know how it wound up all the way down here in Florida. <laughs> So Lance said, seen a report of seven inches near Tallahassee. So south of Tallahassee, we have some friends that reported 11.3 inches. Some of them have some weather stations like us. And I have one friend north of Tallahassee that reported 12 inches. And looking at the flooding there, and they're as quick as all these rivers that come out of the banks, that sounds accurate. But there was pictures coming in everywhere. Streets flooded, homes flooded. So that's a crazy amount of rain to be getting when there's no tropical system. Like typically... If we get that kind of rain, it's a tropical storm parting on you. But this was just a crazy storm that come through the other night. I don't want any more of those anytime soon. Luckily, the next 10-day forecast looks hot, uh, but not much rain here. So that's good. All these rivers need to get out of everybody's houses and yards. Man, oh, man, we get some crazy storms this so year. Now that we probably have most of everybody here um, yeah. at the beginning, we'll go ahead and discuss um, someone that left us this week. Yeah. And um, Crystal sent you the obituary, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. So Crystal sent the obituary for Miss Sheila. So she is now home where she has, you know, been planned to go. And she emailed us probably a couple of weeks ago and let us know that she was at peace with it and that, you know, yeah. she's happy to be going and being out of pain and the suffering that she's in. So she um, is no longer with us and we'll miss her. Yep. So we wanted to get that out to y'all because I know a lot of y'all were in communication with her. And that's like we talked with her off and on for quite a while now. She's a big fan of the show, especially the live stream and then the wonderful people and family that we have here. But that was kind of her biggest thing was just having people in her life. And, you know, we all need to kind of remember that when you get to a certain point in your life, the things and all the other stuff, it really doesn't matter whenever it comes down to it. It's it's the people and the friends and the experiences and all that stuff. So uh, we definitely want to let y'all know, because I know a lot of y'all ask about Miss Sheila every week. Yeah, I'm um, teary-eyed. I know she was excited to be, you know. Yeah. she Y'all, she's been, she's yeah. been going through a lot for a while. She really has. So uh, I, like Tiffany said, in her last uh, email that she sent to us. She kind of seemed at peace with all of it, but uh, we for sure wanted to let you know. Um, again, thank y'all for being part of this yeah. this crazy thing here that we always refer to as our family and uh, you know our community of people here. A lot of y'all reach out and support each other and get to know each other and become friends. You know, off to the side, we never expected that with uh, social media had no idea that was going to happen. We first started this thing a long time ago. So, uh, yeah, like I said, we just kind of wanted to get y'all in the loop oh, there. She also wanted us to, um, dedicate the bat houses to her. So, she did. Yeah, she did. So that's why I got my button gear last week and finally got the bat houses up. So, uh, I should have did it because Mr. Donald sent them to me. Miss Sheila was like, Hey, that's the one thing I want you to do right there. So she did. I guess she was tired of everybody picking on me. She wanted us to remember her by the bat house. So, yeah. so that's what we will do. Yep. So we got them up. We absolutely got them up. All right, y'all. So uh, 
let's see what else we got going on here. I see people already talking about the bats. I'm, I'm sure if we got some new people on there, not going to be like, what are you, what are y'all talking about? Oh, we always got stuff we pick on. They're not homeless about. as long as they show up and That's right, move they in. Home. So Chris would remind me that we spelled our name wrong. Um, yep. I get told that all the time, but I think EY is the proper way to do it. Uh, let's see here. Kathy says they got up to 81 degrees in Wisconsin. We didn't even No, We actually did get that hot today. Yeah, we got into the 80s today. That's crazy. Pretty much same weather. Had to turn on the air conditioning for the first time this year. Oh, boy. It begins, doesn't it? It absolutely begins. So Julie says, if y'all are still doing low carb, we we try. <laughs> <laughs> Consider adding blackberries or raspberries to the garden. So I tried blackberries last year. And I don't know if y'all remember, we had like record heat. Two months of just almost consistent triple digits. Like it was 100 degrees every day. Heat index was through the roof. And my blackberries, no matter how much I watered them, they were in pots. And I was getting ready to grow them. They could not make it. They just burnt and fried up. So uh, we may try that again. I'm not, I don't have a clue about raspberries around here, but we also have blueberries out in the garden. Mm -hmm. I know I need to go out there and check. The birds are probably picking them off one by one out yeah, there. Yeah, I've noticed there was some <laughs> ripe ones, and then they would yeah. vanish. I was like, maybe Tiffany's been coming I out did, here and grabbing I did them. eat a few. Whenever okay. I'd go out okay. there and water, I ate a few. <laughs> All right, that's good, because I was starting <laughs> to wonder. It's only like, those you know, one pigeons. or two here and there, but yeah. Yeah, I was scared those pigeons were getting them. All right, so Shane says, good evening. Thinking doing the rock beds around our house and pool. How's the weed barrier holding up? Weed barrier is holding up great. It's doing and good. Everybody I, kind of, you know, made it sound like it was going to be a pain, but it's doing good. Thus far, no, yeah. it may fall apart in a year or two. Who knows? It's cheap plastic, but I've been hitting it with the weed eater, no issues. Um, like someone mentioned, when you get a really hot day, it's no longer straight because things expand when they're hot, especially something that's black plastic like that. And then it tightens up in the winter, but I'm not seeing no major snaking. It's just something that was perfectly straight, may have a little bend or dip every so often. It honestly doesn't bother me. I just don't want the rock flopping out in the yard. So thus far, I would still recommend this stuff for something cheap. Mm -hmm. uh, stone or brick work would be a whole lot better, but we had a couple hundred, 250 feet to do, and we still got more to do. That was going to get, aggravating and expensive really quick so at the moment i'm still good with uh using that stuff so lance thank you so very much for your extremely generous donation there says i'm split between the next electrical video and bat houses <laughs> oh boy oh boy uh how about one of both you're, you're gonna get them there which actually we may not have electrical anytime soon but uh i'm still working on the big welding project and cooker out there that's gonna take me a while y'all um, cause I'm gonna keep having to jump off of it this week. We're probably gonna be short on content again. Got to help a friend out one day, nothing to record there. Um, I've got some little fun projects. I may try to throw in for some quick content and then I got to keep getting back to work on this big outdoor cooking area. It's going to take a while to do this project. Yes. And then of course you, it gets get, too hot. you got mowing <laughs> and projects and errands and everything else that, you know, that's just life. All right, let's go on down here. Uh oh, somebody said, did I miss it? What? Somebody's talking about the uh, gift. I think the sawhorses. Oh, that was Chris. Yeah, the yeah. gift is supposed to go to my house. I was like, oh, somebody's, I haven't seen anything. somebody's fessing I up. Looking, no, I haven't seen anything. I was looking for it. So, All right. So, Mr. Donald says something sent to you, you're not responsible for payment. Well, I know that, but they may ask for it back or something. I just found it odd that my name wasn't even on the box, but it had our correct address and correct PO box. So, I think somebody's playing secrets. Awesome secret, Santa, by the way. So, thank you. If you watch the live stream, they may, they may not. Oh, heck, it could be a friend, family, who knows? But that, that was a nice surprise. So, how's our swamp doing? I ain't even checked it. I'm scared to go out there. There's, oh, yeah. By there's now, just, it's like, yeah, there's it's just no way out there. Our, our woods are so flooded. I won't get into them this year. There's only a few more trees I can go yank out of the woods, which now it's about to be 90. That's going to be fun. Uh, few hurricane blown down oaks that I really need to get so I can continue to split all summer. But the majority of the hurricane damaged trees, I won't get to them this year. They'll rot. Mm -hmm. uh, our trails, we got one section trail now that I would just about guarantee is four foot underwater if I go out there and check it with all this recent rain. There ain't nothing I can do about that. <clears throat> all right. Yeah, I know, y'all. I'm finally making it down. Everybody hearing the news about Miss Sheila. So where is Ruger? He is passed out in his sandbox over there. I mean, gone. He had a heck of a day yesterday. So we went to yeah. a kid's birthday party mm -hmm. and uh, another lab was there and they ran and chased each other and ran and jumped and ran some more. And they had a good time. He's wore out. <laughs> Normally he can play hard one day and then he has to crash his sleep the entire next day. So he's over there 
oblivious to what's going on. Bullets out here looking for food and wondering where a bone is or something. <laughs> yeah, he just keeps walking by. All right, uh, Mikey. My goodness, Mikey. Thank you so much again. He says, got to run. New wood processor is finally assembled. Oh, nice. Got him a wood processor, which he should because I, I forget. He splits a crazy oh, amount of wood. He said he's going to have some fun attempt, to, uh, attempt six cords an hour. Oh, oh, my gracious. That is blazing fast. I can't get six cords a month here lately with everything I got going on. <laughs> We're going to need to borrow that. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Bring that on down. Let's test that out on the channel. Make some content real quick. Oh, my goodness. Uh, all right. Thanks. For, oh, thanks for the answer, said Shane. I was asking, actually asking about the weed barrier under the rocks. Well, I gave you this long explanation on edging. So the weed barrier, <laughs> no <laughs> issues. Now, like where the weed barrier meets the porch and there's still a little strip of dirt right there occasionally some grass and stuff will pop up i'll hit it with a little bit of weed killer good but as far as out in the rocks go i haven't had to do anything so uh absolutely worth it and something you should do because like the rocks i put down there for example Ooh. underneath the solar panels at the shop well the grass is coming all through them like i knew it would but again i go down there with a little one gallon weed sprayer hit it in you know 15 seconds and i'm good to go for several months uh, so Miss Crystal, she said she wants to share a story about Sheila. She told me one of her best moments was being able to perform on the stage and uh, Bronson or it could be Branson. She said she sang several of uh, Loretta Lynn songs. She was proud of that accomplishment. Wow. Yeah, uh, she talked to us quite a bit whenever she emailed us as well about uh, you could tell singing was definitely her passion. Yeah. No doubt about that. She talked about that a lot. So Justin says Tiffany's big heart fun. <laughs> Justin, <laughs> thank you so much. Thank we truly you. appreciate you. And Tiffany does have a big heart. That's that's for sure. Uh, so uh, what do we? I'm cotton mouth. What are we cooking oh, tonight? So for dinner tonight, <laughs> we are doing smothered venison sausage dogs with some onions and peppers. We're gonna do that mustard sauce that you like on it as oh, well. Oh, I didn't even think about that. That's awesome. So the only carb that'll be in that will be the bread. Yeah, well, Miss Ramilla ain't on, so it's all right. She, she'll definitely leave me a dirty comment tomorrow, though, about eating the bread. Uh, yeah, I see somebody else asking about the bad houses. We can officially talk about that no more. Bad houses <laughs> are up. Oh, my goodness. Everybody wants to see the video. Where's the video? Well, we're waiting until the bats move in. Well, we get some bats. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and bump yeah, this camera right up. Because uh, the sun just went behind the clouds. Mm -hmm. Now we got to play this game. All right. Is there a website or book you'd recommend for a beginner starting a raised bed garden? Honestly, YouTube, just tons of video and good content on YouTube. That's that's how I kind of learned about it. Uh, lots of lots of guys uh, and ladies and everybody else has made really good content. Like uh, who's millennial? What's his <clears throat> name? Is it millennial? No, not millennial farmer. That's that's another one I watch. That's a big farm there. Oh my goodness, he's really good about seeds. Just type in raised beds. You're going to see the popular people uh, pop up. Uh, Pergoni, I forget this guy's name. I used to watch a lot. Really good content on there. But to be perfectly honest with you, raised beds are not complicated at all. Get you a good compost in there. Get you several inches that you can play with. Don't go with the short, cheap lumber. Go ahead and spend extra money. Fill it. Oh, man, you'd just be shocked at how much food comes out of them. And don't hesitate to start with one small bed. Then add on next year as funds allow or if you see that you like it. It's also a really fun project to do with children, too. I'm I'm a big believer in doing like a raised bed. Let children plant the seeds, watch stuff grow, teach them lessons. You know, if you don't go out and water and nurture it or nourish it, um, get the weeds out and all that stuff, things die. You know, that's just the way life works. I think a little raised bed garden is awesome. And then whenever the vegetables start, finally start producing, kids will get all excited about it. Heck, so do adults. I do as well. Uh, I, I definitely would like to encourage people to do that. But tons of resources on YouTube. That's where I got the majority of my information from. Oh, the light is doing something crazy. Yeah, now. it is. Now, now it's back out from behind the clouds. So let me turn the camera back down on it. And it's right in the camera, too. we got to play around with this all afternoon, y'all. But that's kind of the way it is with us sitting right here on our outdoor kitchen. So what did I miss? Logan, thank you so very much, man. Y'all being kind tonight. He says, the whatever you want fun. Thank you, That's Logan. my favorite fun right there. <laughs> Appreciate you so much, my goodness. Um, yeah, still no bad house video. Nope. Nope. Not having it. Um, so Robert says question speaking of weed barrier in your raised bed for your corn do you have weed barrier at the bottom I do not so those were two by tens which is what nine and a quarter inches deep 
whenever you put that much compost or soil down, you kill off anything underneath. The only regret I might have, I probably should put down some wire because occasionally we'll get little moles and stuff that'll come up, maybe eat roots of plants. Uh, so wire in the bottom would keep them from doing that. But when you do beds that thick, no weed barriers needed down there. And a good cheap weed bear, a lot of people do cardboard boxes, which I probably should have done being that Amazon's at our house every single day. And I've always got plenty of boxes. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's right. So White Tail Dave says, thanks for answering my questions on solar versus gas generators. Definitely help me with my choice for now. Maybe some future ideas if I add solar to my barn. You're absolutely welcome. And I'm assuming you're probably going with the gas generator since we discussed that. Everybody thinks just because they see solar on the channel that I'm just pushing it. No, I've talked with a ton of people and I'm like, you know, what's what's your options? What are you trying to accomplish here? And often I'm like, I don't think solar's right for you. Do a gas generator. No point in spending your extra money on stuff if you're not going to get the benefits out of it. So I always tell people, y'all, more than welcome to reach out and ask me questions on our uh, email if you'd like. Sorry, I'm thinking about another question here, and I'll work with you as best I can. So yeah, this is what Kim said, and I'm afraid of this. She says, sometimes it takes months to years for bats to move in. Yeah. Yep. But right now... I, just keep looking right now, them. I could post y'all a two-minute video of, hey, here's some bat houses. Here's some recommendations on heights that I read online. Me putting one up and go, all right, see y'all later. Thanks for watching. So I was hoping to actually get something in there. And uh, if we do start catching some flying in, we'll, like I said, somebody mentioned last week, maybe hanging a camera up. We'll try to do that. Glenn said, just had some crawfish left over from yesterday. Oh, boy, speaking of that, Glenn. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So this, this uh, birthday party we went to yesterday. He, <laughs> my friend asked his son, what do you want for your birthday? And the boy said, I want a crawfish bowl. All right, cool. Y'all, y'all, this guy, uh, what did he buy? Was it 50 pounds of crawfish? Yeah, it was something crazy like that. 25 pounds of blue crab. No, it was a few dozen blue crab, 25 pounds of shrimp, potatoes, Mushrooms onions, mushrooms, onions. What was uh, the uh, a green I'm things? Sure those called again Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprout, like yeah. y'all. Anything you can think of in it. <laughs> y'all, it was insane. There was so much food left over. They had to go rinse out like a eighty or ninety quart cooler, clean it out just to put the leftovers in, so they could go bag it and put it up. So I, I had to chuckle when you said you're eating leftover uh, <laughs> crawfish. <laughs> there was a hundred pounds left over yesterday. It looked like. Maybe not that much, but it was I, delicious though. Yeah. Well, and I can't eat it because I'm allergic. Boy was so happy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, no. Y'all sit there and watch us eat it. Yeah, y'all sit there and pegged out. So I'm allergic to shrimp. Crawfish has been bothering me. So I had to sit there and kind of watch everybody like, oh, but I didn't do that. I took my new smoker down there. Y'all remember my portable <laughs> smoker with the batteries? I was like, I'm ready to try this thing out. So I was over there smoking. Boston butt chunks and pork steaks mm -hmm. and all, and I was passing them out to people. I was like, I ain't gonna go hungry. This fat boy's gonna eat right here now. Uh, so Andrew was the flagpole you got from victory, getting one for a friend. No, it was from service first. If I remember correctly, that sounds right. Yeah. The company was called service first and our flagpole still doing awesome. Occasionally I get caught in storms and can't get the flag down. I always try to take it down. And I have seen that flagpole go through some crazy winds and well, it's still out there doing just fine. So Justin says, I feel like cash has been missing recently. Cash has been working a lot, y'all. Yeah. So he's had some issues going on in his house that he's had to take care of. Excuse me. And then they had, what, that couple weeks of winter storms, and he was just working. I don't think he ha really had a day off. He was just going and working <laughs> all night long and all. So he works with the railroad kind of doing service stuff for him. And anytime storms or major floods or anything comes through, he is on call. He's got to report out there and be ready to respond. and help with tracks, move equipment, all kinds of stuff. So he's probably doing some of that again today. So Julie says, I switched to the big pots. Daniel Arms used the gardening with Leon way, uh, making them self-watering. Believe it or not, that's how I found Daniel myself many years ago was the watering pots back whenever I was looking at doing our raised bed garden. So funny you mentioned that, but uh, yep, that was a very popular thing for Daniel for the longest time. His uh, high tunnel and those 
little watering pot. Let's see here. Audio continues. Yeah, the video I think it freezes. Might have just been, um, him because it's something with Dino. Fine, yeah. Well, Dino, you are all the way in Australia and may, might have some lag getting me all the way over to you. But <laughs> what you can do is exit out, come we back hope in. You're still here. We do hope you're still here. Oh, yes. I see another comment. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Exit out, come back in. A lot of uh, times people say that that clears it up for them. So. Let's see here. I didn't know y'all added the pool. I've been going through pole barn build and haven't made it to the pool part yet. Says, uh, well, black six year one. All right. Yeah. The pool is in. Actually, believe it or not, I jumped in the pool today and I regretted it. And I know y'all are going to say jump in the pool. I'm not. It was so cold. I had to get out. I it think wasn't that bad. I got in for a little while. It was cold. And now that it's oh, now that we're at 69 degrees, I'm not getting in the pool. So I know Mr. Donald, somebody's going to get on me real quick. However, by next week, we maybe can pull oh, something yeah. off because we're going to have this a pile of 80 degree days sure, this yeah. week. The pool is going to fly up in temperature. But yeah, so if you're going through our pole barn build, thank you so much for watching our content. And you're going to see the deck and everything else. Actually, the deck come a long time after the house was finished. But you'll see, you'll kind of fly into it watching the content right there. And then uh, we put the pull up ourselves. I show all the wire and everything else. So Barry, thank you so very much. Barry Carlton says, Barry and Kathy. Well, thank you, Barry. Thank you Kathy. so much. Thank and y'all, so I know we got some new people on tonight. I think I sent a couple people say that. We do not expect donations. Don't expect none of this. But y'all, it's a huge benefit and help. Um, it does allow us to do this for a living. We never asked for it. Uh, but we're definitely going to recognize the people that do that. That's thank you. Very generous people. Yeah. Thank you so very much. And again, thank y'all just for watching our content. Like you just seen, we got somebody new going through all of our content. Like that helps support us. So thank you for spending your Sunday afternoon with us. Uh, means, means the world to us really does. So I wish you to put up bluebird houses. I'm maybe might get into some of that in the future. I want to do oh what, what, the Martin houses because they also eat the insects. And I see a lot of people around here doing Martin we houses. We need to get those carpenter bee houses up too. Uh, we've almost waited too late. Yeah. The carpenter bees have just done eight into everything. This has been one of the worst years I've seen for carpenter bees. They are everywhere. So Tripping says that was an expensive dinner. Uh, I imagine he spent several <laughs> oh, hundred yeah. dollars yeah, was on uh, that yesterday, but his boy got what he asked for for his birthday. <laughs> I can think of worse things to ask for my birthdays. And it, I want a dinner. Although I did slip over uh, to somebody and well, I guess we'll say in his family, his, his dad's girlfriend. And I said, I think y'all have been cheaper buying him a truck this year. <laughs> <than> all that. <laughs> Uh, so Kathy says, speaking of moles, we have a smart mole that's been tearing up our backyard and can't seem to get the little sucker. Do you have any ideas? I don't offhand. I've tried the little mole holes and bait, and I think they make some little traps. And then, of course, you see the crazy stuff on the Internet where people, well, pretty much blow the tunnels up. <laughs> it's some crazy content on YouTube I've seen. But, no, I, I don't have a really good idea. Maybe somebody else has already done mentioned something to you. Oh, yeah, everybody's now feeling so bad for me that I can't eat crawfish. The I heck know. with crawfish. I can't eat shrimp. That's the little delicious morsels. That's what I want. Oh, he loved it so much. Oh, and I yes. used to be to eat shrimp, for those of y'all don't know, up until 26 years old. I developed an allergy out of the blue, and I couldn't eat shrimp or lobster. Swells my throat closed, like major anaphylactic problems here. And then I could eat uh, crawfish for quite a few years, and then they started bothering me. But here's the crazy part. I can still eat crab. I can still eat scallops, so it's not a shellfish problem. It must be an iodine problem. Yeah, probably is. Not really sure, but it's, it's just absolutely crazy. Yep, and see, Robert says, you might be allergic to shellfish in general. Nope, I'm actually not. So, uh, not yet, anyway. I, I know. I keep slowly developing allergies to stuff, but uh, I guess I should go get that checked out one day. I really should. All right, so chickens, 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 Dino wants to know, and he must be back with us. <laughs> They're good. They're all doing really good. Um, nobody's trying to brood this week, so <laughs> they're all behaving this they, week. Yeah, they kind of are. Yeah, they haven't been as crazy good. out there. <laughs> so Mr. Jimmy wants to know, how come you don't do any shorts? Mr. Jimmy, I tried some a while back, and I'm not saying I won't. Actually, when we start getting into our cooking and working in the outdoor area, I will. Um, but I tried posting some shorts a while back a few different times and the general masses that subscribe to our channel said, uh, -uh. want the longer form content, which is what historically we've always done here, educating, teaching, talking really, you know, 15 to 40 minute long videos. And I think that's what people have come to expect. And when I've tried some shorts, I got a lot of 
kind of negative feedback, to be honest with you. Now, with that said, what I could do and probably will do in the future when I do make some shorts, I just won't allow it to notify y'all. Y'all actually have to go check the shorts part of our channel, which is easy to do, and see if we post any. Uh, we may occasionally throw a tester out to see, but I think when people expect after 1,200 videos that we've made that they're always going to be long and full of information, and then they click on one, get you know, sit down, get ready to watch it, and it's 30 seconds long, and they're like, what is this? What is this? And to be perfectly honest, the majority of our viewers are are older, you know, 40 to 65 plus. And I think a lot of our viewers in that age group are really wanting to sit down, learn something, watch something longer. I think it's a lot of the younger age group that wants the shorter, quick go through stuff. At least that's kind of just my rough guess right there. And I think that's why it doesn't work so well for this channel. But we will uh, we will try it again in the future. David, thank you so very much. Treats for the puppers. We do Aww. need to, and we've got yeah, to actually find gonna, them some new treats. Yeah, we are. I meant to, I meant to look it up this week and try to figure out what would be good for them and get them <laughs> something different. But <laughs> I will now. Yeah, thank you so much, David. I'm laughing at Adam's comments. He said, "Mr. Jimmy, he wears shorts all the time. <laughs> different types of shorts there." Oh, Adam with the jokes. And David, thanks so much. Yeah, so uh, we're definitely going to get the dogs some new treats. We're just getting scared on the bones now. I just, I don't want one caught up in Ruger's throat or stomach or something. I see a lot of people talking about the Masters. I guess that was today. I don't, uh, I don't watch golf at all. Used to a long time ago, but eh, I'd rather be outside. So I know the Masters is like the what Super Bowl of golf or something like that. Oh, Mr. Jimmy said, at least you're not alerted to everything from the water like me. Oh, that's a bummer, man. Oof. That is a bummer. But I can handle that before I can be alerted to steak or something like that. Oh, got to have me a steak. Scroll on down here. So Denise says, hello, everyone. A little late joining with family and friends. Threw a surprise birthday shrimp bowl. What's going on with these <laughs> bowls? Denise, we literally have been sitting here, which you may have already caught it, talking about crawfish bowls that we went to yesterday. Glenn done one. So it's just the bowl weekend apparently and happy 70th uh miss lee you're on oh my goodness okay thank hey, you miss so lee. very much so don't forget miss lee's they're supposed to be heading out tonight her husband's got a, a surgery tomorrow so we pray all that goes well yes. for you and uh Please keep us posted yeah keep us posted we hope everything goes as intended safe travels um i, I know y'all been dealing with that a lot here lately oh my goodness that was so generous she says, I don't like seafood, so I'm there with you, Andrew. We are heading out to the hotel. See you all next week. Prayers to Miss Sheeta's family. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes ma'am. So y'all have safe travels, and we hope everything goes well tomorrow. All right, y'all. I'm going to move the camera. Hopefully, I don't unplug y'all or do nothing crazy. Tiffany's warming up the Blackstone to cook uh, my requested meal. Mm -hmm. I know. You you did request that, like, probably a month and a half ago, and I made it yet. Yeah, I thought I did. I was like, maybe we already ate it, and I just forgot. I forgot all about it. All right, I think our thermos thermometer is wrong because now it's done jumped way the heck up on temp. I didn't think it was getting in the 60s. Well, you said 60, and I was looking at it, I'm like, I see 70. Maybe well, I'm... Well, it's something with a glare over here. Okay. But, I mean, it still feels really good out here. Well, can people see me over here? I probably should have bumped that camera up, but... Uh, that, uh... You want me to do it? No. <laughs> <laughs> We'll be done hitting the wrong button and shut this live stream down. All right, let's do that while the sun's setting. I got y'all pointed right in the sun, but it's about to go behind the pole barn over there. Ooh, spring is here. Green grass, everything. All right, let's grab another comment here. So, Robert, you bring up another valid point. A lot of our viewers watch us on TV as well. Um, so you obviously say you can't stand the vertical format on shorts. That's another big problem because shorts are only, well, I think now they may have got it to where you can do some horizontal, but you're really supposed to do shorts and vertical because the majority of people are quickly scrolling through on their phone. That's what they're designed for. They're not really intended for TV. And I know we have a bunch of TV watchers. I, I hope in the future, the YouTube app for TV starts allowing y'all to comment, um, or comment easier, I don't think y'all can at all, to view our community page. Because I post on our community page a lot, updates and everything else. That's what we do for a lot of our members as well, too. It's kind of a community page, and we can get some sneak peeks and stuff. So I, I hope the TV app starts picking up a lot of that stuff, because a lot of y'all do watch us on the TV. 
So that's another big reason for the shorts. Let's go on down here. Get some chicken toys for the chickens. <laughs> well, I I've given them yeah. toys and they, they play with it a little bit, but they not seem much. very interesting. Yeah. Right, we give them little balls with bells and stuff <laughs> little in cat them. toys. Yeah, yeah they, they don't really care. Their, yeah. their toy is uh, mealworms and some other stuff. They like snacks. <laughs> Speaking of, we're supposed to have a big box of mealworms showing up tonight. So, do I watch any sports at all? Asked Justin. Um, no, and I. I, I'm not big into TV at all. We don't even really watch movies. The only thing I get into is like other YouTube content. I'll get on Instagram as well. Uh, if I'm watching anything, I'm trying to learn how to do something. I want something educational or I'm watching something that's interests me like machinery and equipment and, you know, just engineering and stuff like that. Now, so, if we're hosting friends and we got the game on, he might watch right. a little bit of it, but not yep. much. Now, back in the day, I used to really get into college football to the point that it had me so worked up that I said, I'm done with it. And last year, we started hosting some friends over here now that we got the outdoor kitchen, and they always won the game on. And I could tell real quick I was slipping back into that old me <laughs> of wanting to yell at TV, come on. <laughs> so, uh, but other than that, no, I sure don't. I just want to be outside. Like, I think people think Tiffany and I are lying sometimes. We're always out here on the porch. We got a fire going or we're cooking. We got music going. Yeah. I'm into music. We should have just had a bedroom and a shower and a closet. That's what I was originally trying to do. We just saved a pile of money. No. And then our house no. got a little bigger. Then no. it got a little bigger. We were originally going to do kind of like a tiny home, and then it got a little bigger and a little bigger and a little bigger. We're never I'm inside. I'm the size of our home. I know. It's still not a big home, but we got porches. That's what we really want. And now we're doing another outdoor area. So as y'all can obviously tell, we invest our time and money in outdoor stuff. Uh, grab another comment here. There's the sports one. Miss Jimmy says, no fish camps or fish fries for me. Hot dog or hamburger? Ain't nothing wrong with the old hot dog or hamburger. I ain't gonna lie, for the longest time, I wasn't really into fish either, but we found good ways to start cooking it, and I like it. So, Jay Hess says, Andrew Camerata started posting videos that are hour long, and I just can't bring myself to watch them. That is probably one of my favorite channels, is Andrew Camerata. And he's got some three hour long videos. He's actually been posting oh hour, yeah, hour plus long videos for ever really uh, occasionally he'll do some 30 minute stuff and all and what i used to do when i watched him a lot had more time in my life it felt like i would start maybe watch for 10 15 20 minutes going to bed at night and i'd have to finish it up the next night or go into it the next night but uh yeah he he is not afraid to put a three hour long video and it works because his channel has exploded absolutely exploded not much talking just machinery equipment cool fun stuff i don't know why i just Kind of like watching that. That I find that stuff very interesting. All right, there now everybody's talking about their allergies. Yeah, seasonal allergies. Boy, this year has been horrible. So much pollen. So Robert says for the longest time I couldn't go to the community tab on my iPad. Now they've fixed that. Awesome. Y'all keep giving me updates. Maybe eventually it'll make it to the TV. So Lance asked, do I still do 4K? Last several videos only been 1080. Not an issue, just curious. So Lance, currently at the moment, no. While this is a new laptop I got last year and spent quite a bit of money on it to get something a little more professional in editing, it's still a bit, it's it's not hard, where the hardware specs need to be for 4K. Um, it also eats up my batteries more on my camera. Uh, it takes up a lot of storage on hard drives and everything else. So I started asking where a lot of people watching in 4K and I did a poll and I got a lot of responses. Thank you all for responding to that. And the majority of the masses, like wave 75 plus percent of people are responding. Nope. And I understand the type of content we make probably not deserving of 4K. We're not doing big cinematic masterpieces. So at least until I upgrade my equipment in the future, I just went back to 1080. There's really been no complaints. And I think standard HD stuff works just fine less storage on my computer because it was constantly telling me it was out of room less storage on my external hard drives but more importantly like 4k even on a gaming laptop right here with decent hardware oh my goodness it would take hour and a half to process a 15 minute video whereas on 1080 i kid you not it's just a few minutes like three to five minutes it's amazing the difference and then also uploading to youtube um takes quite a while with 4k not bad honestly even of our cellular uh but 
again, I can upload a 1080 video on a good day in three to seven minutes. Like that's a blessing because sometimes I don't upload properly or I want to go back and edit something and it doesn't take me hours to do it. It just takes minutes. So I think we're going to stick with 1080 for now. I just seen a comment and I don't want you to miss it because sometimes I know that. Oh it yeah. I got to skip around. around. I'm sorry. Um, but Denise, I think she emailed us for the recipe for the broccoli casserole. So have you seen that in your email yet? Oh Lord. Y'all I apologize. I it's probably buried in there. there yes. Tomorrow. I don't always get on his email and look, but I'll get on there tomorrow and I will try to send that over to Thank you. Thank you for reminding me. It yes, probably please. is buried in there. I do get a ton of emails y'all. And sometimes I'm, I'll be like, all right, I'm going to come back to this one. And next thing you know, it just keeps moving down because I, I couldn't tell you how many emails I get in a day. And then you forget to delete a section out that you responded to to bring some back. So I do apologize for Thank that. Thank you for reminding us. Yes. That. Always remind us. If y'all ever email us and you didn't get a response to something you wanted, for sure remind us and we'll get in there. It's a, it's a full-time job responding to all the comments, all the different social media platforms and email. But I'm not complaining. That's what we signed up for and we love it. We absolutely do. Uh, so Miss Jimmy got a valid point. He says I saved the longer videos for the rainy days. That's uh that's a very good thing right there. Of course, I'm using buried in the shop or editing on the rainy days. Yes, I see uh Denise's comment right there. Uh I got 134k strong seems like yesterday hit a hundred thousand, says Mr. Jimmy. And it's thanks to y'all, Mr. Jimmy. Yes. Thank y'all so much for watching and getting our stuff pushed out there and promoted and sharing our uh, our content means the world to us. I was actually just thinking, I'm like, man, maybe when we get to 150, we can do another little celebration giveaway or something. Yeah, absolutely. We can for sure do that because that's a good, solid number. So, y'all, that's awesome. I, uh, man, the five has fought a hundred something thousand a few years ago when you were starting, you know, just getting started and kind of struggling and trying to figure out the routine. Like, I've been ecstatic and I am ecstatic. Like it's been, it's been life changing for us. It means, it means so much to us. It really, really does. Uh, so Northwest Florida boy says he's going to do tacos tonight. Sign me up. I could eat tacos two, three days a week. I love tacos. I could eat salads two, three days a week. Like those are some of my favorite things right there. And of course steak, but I just can't afford steak two to three days a week. <laughs> So Kathy says you guys have come a long way since living in your trailer. Oh boy, have we? Yes, and we were we just are. talking about that what yesterday. Yeah, I think it was yesterday afternoon or something about the days of living in the trailer right there. So uh yeah, it's crazy when you look back because it seems like yesterday, and then when you really think about it, it's like, man, it's been it's been a few years. That's just wild. Seems like we just got done building the house and got our certificate to move in, and now here it is been what two years mm -hmm. this month? Yes. We thought it was three, yeah, and then month. we had to remind ourselves it's two, but that's still yep. crazy. Wow. That, that's insane. So now we just keep moving on to all these other big projects. So Half Pint says he's got him some Bradley smoked sausage on the grill tonight. Mm -hmm. We know all about the Bradleys. Yep. So you're in T Tallahassee, right? I think that's where it is. So you've got, what's, it, what, what's all our favorite sausage over here? Limestone, Bradleys, and Johnston's? Can yes. You, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's all the kind of local stuff. So what did Andrew agree to do at one million? <laughs> <laughs> ask Mr. I knew Jimmy. Somebody was going to bring that oh, up. Oh yeah, ask Mr. <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> uh, We're still far away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so let's don't rush us there too terribly quick, you know. Watch, I'm going to be like, be like 74 years old. We finally hit it, and I got to do it. I'm be like, oh no, I did say I'd do it. <laughs> All right, so Half Pint said, yep, Tallahassee, and he knows the Johnstons and the Limestone. Oh, yeah. That's correct. We eat it all the time. That's popular summertime grilling food for us right there. That's kind of what made me crave this tonight because we eat it so much during the summer, like at cookouts on the river and all, that I get burnt out on it. But now here it is. We went all winter long, and I ain't had it, so I've been craving it. It's a relatively simple meal, but, man, it's so good. I think I love to cook down peppers and onions more than just about anything. Yes, y'all. I did say I'd do a full wax. You crazy, crazy people. <laughs> All right. So Denise says, I joined you when you poured the cement for your house. That did bring quite a few people on. I thought that the whole house building series is going to do better than it did, but it brought a lot of people in and kept them engaged because it was 200 videos there. So now when you think about pouring the concrete, yeah, you've been with us a couple years for sure. Oh, yeah. 
So Justin wants to know what vegetables you got going on right there. So I have um, yellow pepper, green pepper, and onions to go on the sausage dogs. Just what needs to be on a sausage dog. <laughs> Perfect. Love it. And y'all heard mustard. She mixed it up. I don't know if you told them what's in it. Yeah. So if anybody wants to know good. about the mustard, it is brown spicy mustard, a little bit of sugar, and red wine vinaigrette. And it makes the perfect topping for anything with cabbage or mm -hmm. sausage. It's really good. Yes, it does. Now you lost Miss Ramilla at, at sugar. I didn't know you was putting sugar in there. Well, just a little bit. It takes that bite down of that vinegar. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like a tablespoon. So Chris said, I watched a lawyer that said he'd eat his shoes if a certain lawsuit didn't go national. He brought some little pink sugar shoes in and ate them. Well, that sounds like he, that's clickbait. He, he misled y'all. <laughs> Oh, goodness. I'm trying to think, what could I substitute my body for body? What you could do what? I'm trying to think of how I could, what I could substitute. She's saying, he said he'd eat shoes, but he brought in fake shoes. How can I substitute a body wax <laughs> for something that's still his body that isn't me getting torn alive? I don't know. I, I you agreed to it. So. I got time to think on it. We might we might <laughs> do like that lawyer did right there. No, nah, that's, that's, that's misleading. I, I said I'd do it. I'll do it. Have we ever had loquat jam? I have not, but mm -mm. we actually have some loquat trees on the properties that are taking forever to produce fruit. So I'm familiar with the fruit, but uh, never had the jam. I'm sure that's good. There's lots of jam I haven't had around here. You know, persimmons and everything else that grow locally so much. Uh, yeah, Robert says, I'm not getting out of it that easy. Yes, I know. I know. So, good point. Use stevia or monk fruit instead of sugar. I've heard a lot about monk fruit. Um, I was actually looking at getting some off of Amazon a while back. I need to go back to uh, looking into that, which we don't, honestly, we don't use sugar a whole lot. Like, when do we, when do we use sugar? When we was occasionally making some recipes. tea and we uh, yeah. quit tea. Tea every now and then, like rarely yeah. any anymore. Yeah, we haven't had tea um, in forever. Yeah. Hummingbird food. Yeah. She's mixing up her hummingbird feeder with the. That's kind of where our sugar's been going here lately. I don't even remember the last time I bought sugar. So let me bump this camera up. Uh, somebody asked, "Have I ever fished Lake Okeechobee?" Sadly, no. Here I am in Florida, and I always dreamed of it as a kid because I'm obsessed. I love bass fishing. It's like my favorite type of fishing. And I have fished lakes all around the state, but Okeechobee, I've never been to, and I can't say why because back when I was 16, 17, 18, I had a bass boat. I was fishing tournaments, and I wasn't scared to go travel anywhere, even though I just started driving. All I want to do is be in that bass boat and do some fishing. Maybe one of these days I'll get down to Okeechobee. I need to do that. Do we like lychee nuts? What's Ask it? Kathy. Lychee nuts? L-Y-C-H-E-E? I don't know. I have never heard of those. So I can't say that we do like them or we do not. Never in my life heard of them. So interesting. I have to see what that is. Hmm. Fig preserves. Oh boy, I love some figs. I don't know why I haven't planted a fig tree on the property yet. I need to do that. They they kind of slow I was growing. Wondering that too. I, the I, other day when we seen one, I yeah, was like at my dad's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dad's, his yeah. blew up. His. I remember just, you telling me that you really enjoyed it. I've figs. never had a fresh fig. Oh my goodness, my yeah. granny's got the biggest fig tree ever. Like you can just pick gallons of bags, just one after the other after the other. It's just it's huge. It's like the size of the front of our house right here. And I used to love eating those figs, man. When they're so ripe, oh, they're so good. <laughs> all right, one lost dude. <laughs> he said, I should let all the viewers pull the wax strips. That would be a million viewers at that point in time. Don't think there's enough room to do that. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> oh. I must have missed the backyard tour. I can't remember, Mark, if we really. Yeah, we did do a property tour and, and we showed like the storm shutter, our citrus trees that the frost yeah, killed. Yeah, but a, few a lot years of ago. stuff wasn't done yet. When yeah, we did that's that. true. That's true. And then I, maybe you're talking about the backyard. We just did the landscaping video and kind of did a full walk around there. So if you'll type us in and then type in landscaping, you can probably see one of our most recent videos there. And eventually we'll uh, we'll go back around and show that off. Plus, like somebody mentioned last week, we need to do, uh, now that we've been in the house for a couple of years, our regrets, things that we really enjoy, mm -hmm. different kinds of content like that. So put the fig tree far from where you're mostly uh, 
because it mostly brings in ants and wasps. Boy, I sure do remember the wasps constantly coming around it. I guess whenever it's blooming, plus all the sweet smell of all the fruit. Uh, so that makes perfect sense there. Dinner is done. Hey, that's fine with me. <laughs> this is our venison sausage that we smothered with onions and peppers and a mustard sauce, too. And Keep that's light and simple tonight. And that's jalapeno cheddar. It is jalapeno venison cheddar, sausage yeah. right there. So, oh, I cannot wait to eat. I'm actually starving, y'all. All right, y'all. I think we're actually going to, I know we haven't been on an hour, been on 50 minutes. Probably going to cut it a little short tonight. I'm exhausted and I'm starving. So, I want to eat this. We typically go for 60 minutes, but hey, occasionally we can slip away, right? Plus, if Ruger ever wakes up, I might play fetch with him. He is still zonked, completely He's zonked exhausted. out of it. <laughs> so, y'all, again, just, you know, Miss Sheila, uh, going to miss her. I know a lot of y'all constantly asked about her. Keep her family and her thoughts and prayers. Uh, you know, they, they got a lot to deal with this week. Miss Lee. You know, going to have surgery with her husband there. And there's so many of y'all that's constantly, you know, in need and got things going on. We all do at certain times in our life. Thank y'all so much for being kind to each other, friendly, family atmosphere here. That's something Crystal was talking to me about earlier today. You know, thank you so much for keeping things nice and friendly. Um, me and Crystal will talk a little earlier today as well. And I need to get back and finish up your second email there. So, again, thank y'all. That's the way yeah, we always want to keep our this. Sundays with y'all. Yes, we do. Yes. And appreciate you again spending your Sunday with us, watching our content, supporting us. So good night, y'all. God bless. Take care. We'll catch you next week. See ya. Later. <laughs>